Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be comparing two numbers, two logarithmic numbers. We have log 7 and 1 plus log 5 all over 2. And we're going to find out which number is greater. I was planning to present three methods initially, but then I thought um, maybe I'll just do two. But I'll also tell you how the third method works. Okay, great. Let's start with the first method. By the way, I'm planning to do the first and the third. Maybe I'll just talk briefly about second. So the first method uh, looks like uh, follows. Start off with 49 and 50 first. 49 is less than 50. Would you agree? Okay. And then log 49 is definitely less than log 50 because log is an you know, increasing function and it's just going to follow. And then from here, we can do the following. Write the 49 as 7 squared and write the 50 as log 5 times 10. You could also write it as 2 times 25, but 5 times 10 is better, especially because our base is 10. By the way, log just means base 10 here because I didn't write it. It's, we use the decimal system, right? So 10 is helpful. Okay, so now we're going to use the properties of logs. Let's go ahead and move this to write this as 2 log 7 and then split these up into two, uh, two terms log 5 plus log 10. What is log 10? Log 10 is equal to 1 because log 10 base 10. So we're going to get 2 log 7 is less than, I want to write the 1 first, plus log 5. And finally, dividing both sides by 2 gives us log 7 is less than 1 plus log 5 over 2. So that is the end of the first method. We were looking for the larger number, and that happens to be 1 plus log 5 all over 2. Okay? Let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. I said I was going to do 1 and 3, but I changed my mind, but I'm going to do 1, 2, 3. Okay, how about that? Hopefully you don't mind. I'll try to keep it short. 1 plus log 5 over 2. So we can kind of write it as 1 half times 1 plus log 5, and then kind of distribute the 1 half as write it as 1 half plus 1 half log 5. Great. Now log 5, 1 half log 5 can be written as log 5 to the power 1 half, because this 1 half can be moved and made an exponent. And then we can go ahead and write the 1 half as log 10 to the power 1 half, because kind of like 1 half times log 10, right? Plus log 5 to the power 1 half. So we kind of have like two half powers. Now we can combine log x plus log y into a product or the log of a product. So that's going to be log 10 to the power 1 half times 5 to the power 1 half. And then this becomes log... 50 to the power 1 half because 10 times 5 is 50 and this becomes log square root of 50. But how does that work? Well, whatever we started off with, it turns out to be this one. Now, log 7 can be written as log square root of 49 and obviously that is less than log square root of 50, which happens to be 1 plus log 5 over 2. Remember, we just worked on it to make it that way. Therefore, this is going to be our larger number. Let's go ahead and talk about the third method real quick, and then we'll finish up with that. Okay, the third method used this idea. So again, we're trying to compare log 7 and 1 plus log 5 divided by 2. Awesome. So I'm going to start off with something like this. And again, this is not random. If you, uh, you know, assume one of these numbers larger than the other and work backwards, you're going to get the same idea. Okay. So 2 log 7 minus 1. I want to work this out. Well, this can be written as modo 2 here, log 7 squared minus 1, which is log 49 minus 1. But log uh, 1 can be written as log 10. And then I can write this now as using the quotient rule, log 49 over 10. Remember log x minus log y, right? Cool. So this is log 4.9. What am I going to compare it to? Of course, to log 5. Because log 4.9 is less than log 5. Because 4.9 is less than 5, right? So this was 2 log 7 minus 1, remember? And this is just log 5. Let's go ahead and add 1 to both sides. 2 log 7 is less than 1 plus log 5. Divide both sides by 2, and you're going to get log 7 is less than 1 plus log 5, divide by 2. And again, our larger number is 1 plus log 5, divide by 2. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.